All right, so let's begin cooking. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to do with this. It is, <laughs> it's gonna go to the frying pan. All right, let's begin. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need eggs. I forgot about that. Let me grab some eggs. All right. As soon as forever is true, I'll be over you. <laughs> Onto this bowl, let's get back to this. Now I'm gonna mix everything. You can use whatever vegetables you wanna prefer on this kind of breakfast. Now I only have my bell pepper, three eggs. Just mix everything together. And then we're gonna mix the garlic. Next, we're gonna add the onion. If you don't like a lot of onions, you don't have to put a lot. Just like this. Now everything is here, I would like to put a salt and pepper on this one. Maybe just like that much. Okay, and then I am going to use a ground black pepper. <laughs> black pepper. Black pepper. Okay, just like this. That very simple breakfast is just like playing in the field very nice okay it looks so pretty now on to the real final cooking now okay let me just turn on the stove I'm using the land o lakes again. Here it is. <laughs> I am filming early today because later on I am going to work. Grind, grind, grind. <laughs> grind, grind, baby. The heat is on very, very low. We don't want to burn the butter. So this one, we're gonna put it here because we're not gonna throw this. Okay. Like this. Okay. So it is done now, guys. It is toasted perfectly, not burnt. I usually burned everything but at this time I did not I try so hard not to burn it for you guys look it looks so perfect yummy but we're not done yet let's proceed to the next step only is the night when I'm not with you lonely is the night Seems like I have no energy if I don't have coffee. I'm wearing my nice black um, silky robe today. It's beautiful and very soft. Okay guys, enough being a doll and let's get to work here. The same pan, I place them two little babies here. Just like that. The heat is on very, very low. Post it in a very nice outcome. Okay, so let me grab some. You know, feel free, guys, whatever you want to use. A spoon or whatever, but I'm just going to use this cup. Just pour it in the middle. Like that. Very, very low heat. some cheese here and I would like to add a little bit of parmesan cheese feel free to use whatever cheese you have but this is what I'm gonna have today so I'm just gonna sprinkle some on the on top of our beautiful sandwich soon as forever is true 
I'll be over ya. Just kidding guys, I'll never gonna be over you. I'll keep cooking your breakfast. So look at that. The cheese is slowly melting and we are about to flip it. Beautiful, right? Mm, I can already smell it's so delicious. I'm going to try to flip it and I hope I'm not gonna ruin it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, success. Next. Okay, another success, guys. Look at that pretty, pretty, pretty sandwich. Okay. Just like that to make it cheesy, yummy. My hands are clean, guys. I already um, washed my hands, so don't worry about it. In a separate bowl, I would like to get just the egg yolks. And I'm just gonna place it here on top, just like that. Okay, just place it on top. So pretty. I'm loving it. I am just going to cover this so that um, the egg yolk will cook very, very lightly. Now while waiting for our sandwiches here, um, I'm going to, we're not going to throw the egg whites, I'm going to Mix it with the leftover here, like that, because I really don't like throwing food. Okay, just whisk it like that, baby. All done. Now let's check our egg. You again. Tell you, come to me. Always somewhere. Miss you where I've been. I'll be back to love you again. Okay. I would like to add just a little bit of olive oil. For you guys, mmm, toast. The sandwich has part of veggies and eggs inside. Cheers.
all right so i am done working on my sweet potatoes right here this is part of our delicious lunch that i am going to bring to you guys i am going to cook them in the oven for one hour at 400 degree fahrenheit all right let me just put it inside the oven I am just going to directly put them there. I'm not going to put it in a pan. And we'll wait until the timer is up. We'll check later. Let's close this and I'm going to work on our meat. Guys, they are all clean now. We will marinate them. And I will be showing to you guys the sauce that I'm going to be making. Anyone can make this at home. And I'm sharing this to you guys because this is also the first time that I'm going to be using this sauce and i will tell you honestly later on how it tastes if it's delicious or not so i like this kind of ribs because look at that it's so meaty not just all bones i mean i love bones guys but that's different story i'm talking about food right now so who would love to eat ribs that is just all bones right we would like to have some of the meat and i'm hoping to make this tender juicy today and not gonna murder this or burn this <laughs> all right so let me just start cutting them and we will proceed to making our homemade sauce for these ribs today enjoy guys This one is a little bit harder. I think it has tiny bones on it. <laughs> Got it finally. So it has like bones in the middle. Let me see. Let's take out this big chunk right here first. Okay, it's out. That's out of the way. So now I can work where I need to work. I think it's. I'm just gonna follow the soft side okay there we go we're almost done this one is very soft and there's like tiny bones here what are your plans this weekend guys it's finally Friday I am filming this video today it's Friday I don't have a lot of plan guys besides just working all day and on my days off I will try to film again this one is a little bit bigger and it has like bones in the middle or maybe I can cut it but this side only all right i'm not gonna make myself complicated on the cuttings so here it is now i am going to wash them one more time dry them and then proceed to our sauce let me just wash my hand quick I really need to clean this one of these days it's just so super dirty oh, I was supposed to have a vacation from work but um, you know I have bills to need to be paid so those can wait <laughs> but my bills cannot so where was I so I'm gonna need this ground cinnamon and I'm gonna need black pepper and uh, brown sugar and I'm gonna need a garlic powder, paprika and 
I think honey, was it honey? No, I'm gonna use a brown sugar. Everyone, you see I have this bowl here. I am going to start making our special marinade sauce. Now, I am going to start with my apple sauce. I love apple sauce, so I always have this at home. Let's open it up. This is my brown sugar. I'm just also gonna need like two tablespoons of this. Okay. Okay. I am going to add some cinnamon powder. Next will be paprika. Hmm. Okay. Add a little bit of soy sauce. Check my description box, guys, for a perfect version of this sauce. Maybe I'll just put everything because that was not much. And then next, I will add some tomato ketchup. You can use tomato paste, but I don't have it right now, so I'm just going to use my Heinz tomato ketchup. Of black pepper. You can list down the ingredients if you want to try this. Okay. Add some lemon juice. I should have got a bigger bowl. I did not think about that. Mm, I love the smell of cinnamon, guys. It smells so good. So relaxing to me. I hope you guys will have an amazing weekend. Take care, guys. I want to thank all of you for watching my videos and following all my uploads. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting. And also, I would like to do a quick shout out to my friend, Reality Check. He's been my friend for almost three years in my entire career here in YouTube. <laughs> He's been my friend since from my main channel. And when I open up this cooking channel, I told him to come follow me on my new YouTube channel. I just love cooking. I think this is the right content for me. It's better to do things that we enjoy. Really enjoyed it a lot. And I can express myself. And I'm just happy. Naughty. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it's all mixed up like this. Now, I am going to grab the meat and pour this on our beautiful meat. They're looking so pretty. Okay, let me just grab the meat, guys we move here so you will be able to see and I transfer this to a bigger bowl so that I can mix it up pretty easy and here's the sauce the homemade sauce that I made now I'm just going to pour it all over the ribs just like this like that okay now I am going to mix it up using this tongue but I always try to bring you guys some delicious recipe, delicious food. I always give my 120% before it was only 119. And now I realize that I gave my full 120%. And I thank you all so much guys for all the support. My regular viewers, thank you, thank you so much guys. And to all my silent viewers out there, you guys are amazing wherever you are from. So just mix 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 everything just like that mm -hmm. oh my god it smells really good guys looks like they are all mixed up now I am going to get the pan that I am gonna be using for this all right everyone this is the pan that I am going to be using for the ribs and I'm going to line it with some parchment paper which i'm going to grab it right now i'll be right back in a second okay where's the box for my parchment paper somebody showed him already baby you're all that i need when you're lying here in my arms find it hard to believe where 
heaven. I've been waiting for so long. See the good times. Oh, maybe the lyrics was wrong. I'm not sure. Just gonna line it like this. Just going to pour all our deliciously marinated pork ribs here. Okay. And they look so delicious. Now arrange it a little bit here and then on the sides. Look at that, guys. I really love that cinnamon smell. Lovers more won't shine on me. Na, 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 na. So this is the parchment paper. We are going to cover our deliciously marinated pork ribs. So let me cover it. to 30 minutes at 400 degree Fahrenheit very very pretty can't wait to eat this because it smells really 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 delicious mm. all right let me just put them in the oven so I give you guys an update our Sweet potatoes are totally done now. A bit hot yet, but I will work on them a little bit once they cool down. So I am just going to make something else while this is cooling down. Not gonna waste any time. Let's multitask. All right. I'm going to wash this French green beans here. Give you guys some veggies. Keep you healthy. Healthy and strong. It's hard to wash this with just one hand. Alright, let me do this. Since I'm going to boil the green beans, I'll bring the freshly, newly washed green beans here. Here it is. Alright, I will boil this for 2 to 5 minutes. Then just enough to be a little bit tender. Baby, you're all that I want. When you're lying here in my arms I find it hard to believe we're in heaven And love is all that I need Okay, I'm just gonna drink some milk I'm getting thirsty So, let me grab some milk Alright, looks like it is ready Now I am going to drain the water I couldn't find the bigger strainer, so I'm just using this tiny one. Okay. Alrighty. Let's move on to the next step. Set it aside for now. Let it drain. In this pan, I'm gonna start off with some olive oil. A little bit like that. I am going to add some garlic squeeze okay maybe that's enough this time it's brownish now i'm going to add the green french beans okay now i am going to season it with some onion salt I don't know if it will okay. Black pepper. Okay. Stir it like that. Mm. Smells so good. And it smells delicious. Yum. Okay guys, remember our sweet potato? Let's get back to this. 
Now I have this, this vanilla marshmallow here. And I'm going to add this on my sweet potato. Alright. Let's open it up a little bit. They are very soft now. Okay. Just going to grab one of this marshmallow and stick it here. Butter inside and I will put them inside the oven for two to three minutes only All right. later all right the waiting game is over and here's our pork ribs finally i think i burned some of them <laughs> all right it looks so yummy and delicious mm, look at that guys isn't it amazing isn't it gorgeous yum it smells delish I can't wait for a taste test everyone. I'm going to choose the one that is looking perfect for your eyes. Like this one. everyone this is our food for dinner today and I hope you love my presentation my car is sweating doing all the work <laughs> but it's worth it guys because it smells so delicious and I hope it tastes delicious as it smells so I have my fork and knife ready because I'm starving all right let me just turn it this way so i can get situated and eat everything <laughs> so i'm gonna do the verdict now let's see how it tastes so the first bite like always is for all of you mm. cheers mm. yeah not too bad guys and i thought i really burned them but not really look at that just slightly dark but still not bad what do you think mmm mmm yeah it's super tender super juicy mm. at this time I did not made it dry mmm yeah now I forgot to tell you I have made you corn green beans and our sweet potato with marshmallow look at that love that marshmallow guys i love it mm. for you mm. and some green beans mm. and corn of course my favorite mm. Mm. Got you guys some marshmallow here. <laughs> mm, yum! You know, guys, that sauce is very easy. Even if you don't have oven, you can still make that for your pork ribs if you want. Whether you wanna fry your pork ribs or grill them, you can always use that sauce. It's very delish. I'm not telling you bullshit, guys. It's real. It's true. It's happening that melts my mouth it's so yummy tender juicy mm. 
Mm. All right, everyone. I think I am going to finish some of this. I'm not sure if I can finish all of them because this is like a big plate. But one thing for sure, I'm not gonna throw any of this. So before I finally end this video, I would like to thank you guys for all the support and for watching this video i thank you guys for your precious time for joining with me today please stay safe everyone and i hope to see you on the next one bye Mwah.